Hello everyone, this is Dragonold and welcome to the episode of How to Build Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today it is episode 24 and today we are going to be completing the Great Hall by adding on the roof and all of the turrets on the top. And if you are enjoying this series and are not subscribed already, make sure to press the subscribe button, it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time and it really does support the channel. But anyway, let's get straight into building the roof. And so the roof of the Great Hall is extremely simple and is a very simple diagonal pattern going all the way to the top. And so basically what we need to do is just come to this block right here and very simply just build a diagonal all the way along, just like so. Coming all the way along until we do come to the end of the Great Hall in the exact same pattern of a diagonal. Just going along just like this until we do come to the end. Just like that. And so basically the diagonal does go directly in between all the turrets, directly on top of all the walls, and then a diagonal line in behind, and that will go on just like this. And this is a view from behind, so basically it is a very simple diagonal, except the occasion blocks are interrupted by the turrets along here, and that will go on just like that. And then on top of this, what we're going to do is continue another diagonal line going all the way across on top of the other diagonal line, just except one block further in, just like so. And so that will go all the way down until we do come to the end. And that will look just like that. Very simply just going in one more block diagonally. And so we'll do this one more time. And then it's up to you to go all the way to the top. And so once again, a very simple diagonal line just on top of the other one we just built. Going all the way up to the top. And then of course bring this all the way down until we do come to the back of the Great Hall. Just like so. And that will go on just like so. And therefore, the only thing you need to do now is just repeat this process and build this all the way up until you do reach the top and then of course bring this all the way down in an identical manner. And so let's do this as another third person time lapse. And there we go, there we have it, that is the first side of the roof now done. And on the top, on the very centre line, all we need to do is just place a line of diagonal blocks going all the way across, just like so, going all the way down until we do reach the end of the Great Hall. And that will look just like that, and that will be the first half of the Great Hall roof now done. And of course, if you are doing this series and you would like to support the channel and the development of my main Hogwarts map, you can support us on Patreon for a small monthly fee and I see some bonus perks in return. It would be really, really appreciated. It allows me to put more time into making quality content for you guys to enjoy. And so once you've done that, well, very simply, we just need to build this onto the other side in the exact same way we just did it on the outside. So once again, building this very simple diagonal line at the beginning on the first layer, and then of course going up upon it until we do come to the top. Of course, it's identical to the other side which we just built, and so it should be pretty easy to build. Just a very simple diagonal, which of course gets a bit interrupted by these turrets. But once you have cleared the turrets, it does get very easy. And so that would be the first layer. And then let's put another one on the layer on top, just like this. A very simple diagonal line going all the way across, just like so. And that will go on, just like that. And then all we need to do is repeat the same pattern until you do get to the top. If you have them like me, they should meet very nicely at this point along this line right here. And so let's go ahead and do that. And there we have it, that is the other side of the roof now complete. And it does just look so much more complete with the roof now added and it starts to look absolutely Awesome, but now we need to go ahead and add three turrets on the top of the Great Hall. And so the first one we are going to build is one of two, which are the smaller ones which are on either end, so one here and then one over there, and of course there is a larger one in the centre. And so the first thing we are going to do is come down to these two blocks right here, so it should be either side of the, of the centre line, and place in two blocks right there, and those are going to represent our layout of this tower. And so upon the two blocks, we're going to build up eight small blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And obviously this tower is going to get in the way of the roof and these blocks right here. So let's go ahead and smash these two blocks right here and just build up the exact same height, just there. And the same thing on this side, smash these two blocks right here and then build up all the way to the top, just like that. And so this tower is going to be a two by two by two by two tower. And so the layout will just be just like this. And then very simply, all we need to do is just build all the way down, down into the roof space and smash any roof blocks that do get in the way. And that's how we go on just like that. And the exact same thing on this side, just building down all the way down until we do hit the roof and then breaking any roof blocks that are in the way. And that will go on just like that. And then beneath this tower, we are going to place two sandstone stairs beneath it just to round it off just like that. And then for the roof, what we're going to do is just widen up the tower by one block using some upside down sandstone stairs, just like this. And that will go ahead and widen up the tower by one block. And then we can go ahead and add on the roof. And so very simply, place on two blocks on the top of all of these stairs just here, just like so. And then behind each of these two by two areas, just place on another two by two area just there, and then another one right here, and the exact same thing all the way around, just like that, just there. And then very simply, a two by two by two area on the top, just like that. And then what we can do is place in a circle of dark oak stairs going all the way in and just trying to connect them all together, just like that. And then earn ourselves some dark oak fences and place on one layer there and then another layer on top, just like that. And that will make that tower just there. And that will look just like that. And luckily for us, the other tower at the other side is identical, and so we can just repeat what we just did. And so what we will do is come down to these two blocks right here, place one block there, and then one block there, just like that, and then build up eight more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just there. And then the exact same thing on this block as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then of course, we'll have to smash these two blocks right here, and once again, build up to the exact same height all the way up just like that, and then the exact thing on this side, smash these two blocks right here, and then go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then once again, we're going to mark off a layout by placing two blocks along on each side, just like that. So it's a two by two by two by two circle, just there. And then once again, what we're going to do is just pull down with your blocks going all the way down until we do hit the roof, just like that, and then smash out these two blocks right here, just like so. The exact same thing on this side as well, going all the way down, until we do hit the roof, just like so, and smashing out these two blocks right there, just like that. And then of course, placing in two outer downstairs stairs at the bottom, just to round it off. And then for the roof, what we need to do is of course, just widen up the tower by one more block, just like so, going all the way around. And then of course, building on the exact same tower design, going up two blocks, just like so. And then of course, a two by two area in behind all of these. So one there, one there, one there, and one there just like that. And then on top of these, a two by two by two area, just like that. And then go ahead and build on a circle of dark oak stairs going around just like that. And then two layers of dark oak fences on top. And that will look just like that. And there we have it. Those are our first two towers now complete. And so now it is time to build on the center tower on the great hall roof. And so what we are going to do is come to this center turret right here and then come down onto the roof, onto this diagonal block right here. And then very simply what we're going to do is just follow this diagonal line going all the way up to the top. So this block right here, this one right here, this one here, and then go up to this block right here and then come down one diagonal to this block right there. I'll do that once again. Basically just following this diagonal line, getting all the way up just like so until we do come to the top and then coming out of this block and then coming down one more block to a diagonal just here. And this will be the first block of our tower. And so the first thing we're going to do is of course build out the layout of this tower. And so very simply, come across diagonally one more block and then come across two more blocks just like that. One block diagonal and then three blocks here. So one, two, three, just like that. And then one block diagonal and then one, two, three, just like that. And then one block diagonal and then one, two, three, just like that. And so it'll be very simple. Three and then one and then three and then one circle just like so. And that will go on just right there. And then of course, all we need to do is actually connect this tower to the roof. And so just build down all the way down and smash out any blocks that do get in the way to make it look flush with the roof, just like so. Going all the way down, smashing out any blocks that get in the way, just like so. 
and that will look just like that on this side and then the exact same thing on this side as well. So coming down all the way down and smashing out any blocks that do get in the way, just make it look flush with the roof, just like so. And that will look just like so. And smash out this one as well there and then this block right here as well. And then what we're going to do is build up seven more blocks on these foundation blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And do that on every single block to build this tower up by seven more blocks, just like so. And that will look just like that. And then all we need to do is add on the roof on the top. And so once again, as usual, I will only build one quarter of the roof and then it'll be up to you guys to rotate it around onto the other three sides. And so the first thing you're going to do is put up one, two, three, just like that, all the way around. And that will go on just like that. And then on these two center blocks, go up one, two, three, and then one, two, three, just like that. And then place on three dark oak slabs on top of these blocks right here, just like so. And then build up four blocks behind. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then one, two, three, four, just like so. And then place it once there here, and then once they're here, just like that. And then in behind this there block right here, put up one, two, three, and then the exact same thing on this side as well. So one, two, three, and then in the middle, go up four blocks instead. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then once again, two stairs going in, just like that. And then behind these there blocks, what we're going to do is put up one, two, three blocks just there, and then one, two, three behind this one as well, just like that. And then once again, place on two stairs on top, just like that. And then behind here, once again, one block, two, three, just like that. And then on the top, you can go ahead and place in a same brick wall and a dark oak fence, just like that. And then all we need to do is repeat this onto the other three sides. And that will look just like that. But right now it does look very plain. And so we'll need to add on some decorations around the bottom just to make it look nice and flush. And so this tower does have four windows in these areas right here. And so what we're going to do is come down to this block right here and place in an upside down stair just there. And then the exact same thing on the other side as well. And so one stair just there. And then on top of these blocks, place on two dark oak stairs just like that. And then one stair here and then one stair here just there. And then one upside down stair right there, a block on top and then another stair on top of there just like that. And then in this block right here, what we're going to do is smash out this block right here and this block here and replace them with black stained glass panes, just like that. And so we will do that one more time on this side as well. And so once again, I'm going to down stair there and up to down stair right here, just there. And then two blocks on top and then one stair here and then one stair here and then an upside down stair, just there. A block on top and then another stair, just there. And then once again, replace these blocks right here with black stained glass, just like that. And then very simply just place in one dark oak slab there and then one dark oak slab just like that. And so all we need to do is repeat this onto the other two sides. And that will go around just like so. And then all we need to do is just add in some more windows. And so come down three blocks here and let's match another window just there. And then same thing going all the way around just like so. And that will look just like that. And before I do get a shower start in the comments, Yes, I know it is not centered. That is just the way diagonal builds work. It's just, it's really annoying, but it's just, yeah, it's how the diagonal just works on the great calls. So I know it's not ideal, but it is just one block off and it's not really noticeable from far away. Like from this angle right here, you can barely notice. But of course, yeah, it's a bit noticeable, but it's it's very subtle. But if you are looking at it, it is it is there, it's on the center, but that's just how it is with diagonal builds. And so that is that part of the Great Hall roof now done. So now it is time to build on the front. And so this front section is very, very simple. The first thing we are going to do is to build on a beam going across diagonally, across the front, just like that, just there. And then all we need to do is just add on the roof. And so the first thing we're going to do is place in some cut sandstone and place in one block here and then once again going up in a two block gradient just like so going all the way up until we do come to the center just like so going up two blocks each time so it should be one block here and then two blocks higher on each one going up center just like that and the same thing coming back down just going down by two blocks each time just there same thing here two blocks down and then one block at the end just like that and then of course what we're going to do is place into walls going all the way up just like so all the way to the top and all the way back down as usual, just like that. And of course, place in some sandstone slabs on the top, just like so. And then of course, going back down, just like 
that. And then this roof is going to be basically identical in design to these ones over here. So very simply, just building up diagonally, just like that. And of course, going up diagonally, just like so. Absolutely identical to what we have done in the past. And then of course, a line of diagonals at the top. And that will be the first half complete. And that will go on just like that. And then the exact same thing on the other side. So very simply, a diagonal line just right there. And then going in diagonally on my block up all the way to the top. And that will go in just like so. And then there is this very small tower at the top. And so what we're going to do is smash out these two blocks right here and build up one, two, three, just like that. And then we sell some sandstone stairs and place in two just right there, just there. And then build up to the top with some sandstone walls just there. And then place in some sandstone walls right here as well. And then some right here as well, just like that. And that will look just like so. And then very simply on the top, we place in some dark oak stairs going to the center, just like that. And then one, two, three, just there. And then a stone brick wall and a dark oak fence on top, just like so. And that'll be the roof of the front section now done. And so now all we need to do is decorate the front. And this bit is a bit complicated, so make sure to pay attention. And so the first thing we're going to do is smash out the bottom two rows of this beam across, just like so. And then very simply grow ourselves some sandstone stairs and place in one here and then one here, just like that. And then one there and then one there, just like so. And then smash out these two blocks right here and then place in one there and then one there, just there, just like that. And then if we do come down to the bottom, what we're going to do is come to this block right here and place in two blocks here and then build this all the way up to the top, going all the way up until we do come into the roof section just there and then place one two blocks on top of these stairs just there and then the exact same thing on the other side. And so two blocks here and then going up all the way to the top just like so. going all the way up into the roof section, just there, and then two blocks on top of these sandstone stairs, just there. And then on these two bottom blocks right here, come across diagonally, two blocks just there, and then two blocks on here as well, just like that. And then once again, build these all the way up to the top, going all the way up until we do come into the roof section at the top, just like so. And so those go up all the way to the top, just like that. And then the exact same thing on the other side, going all the way up, until we do come to the top. Just like so. And so the door, of course, will be in this section right here, but of course, it's not that tall. And so what we're going to do is bring this down seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then of course, the exact same thing on these two as well. Just like that. And of course, this will be where you have your main door into the great hall. But of course, we'll cover the interior in a later episode. And then there is a clock face in the Great Hall. And so what we can do is grab ourselves some quartz slabs, some smooth quartz, and some quartz stairs. And very simply just go ahead and follow the diagonal line to the third block, to this block right here. Build down eight blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And you can go ahead and smash out all the other blocks just there. So leaving one block there. And then very simply place in another block beneath it, and then place on a slab there, and then a slab just there, just like that. And then what we can do is place in an upside down stair facing this way just there, and then one on top, just like that. And then the exact same thing on the other side, one here, and then one there, just like that. And from a distance, it does form a nice circle for your clock face. And then what we can do is place in one cold stone slab there, and then one on the other side, and that will just hold the clock in place, and that will look just like so. And if you're looking at it head on, it does look like a very nice circle, but of course, yeah, if you do go to over here, it doesn't look as round, but it's compromised, and I think it does look very nice. And so come down to the block above your foundations, which of course is this block right here, since so these are our foundations, and then come up 12 blocks with some standstone walls. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and then the exact same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, just like that. And then behind here, what we're going to do is place in one, two, three blocks just there, and then one, two, three blocks just there, just like that. And then very simply come across diagonally, two blocks here, and then two blocks here, just like so, and then one block in the middle, just like that. And then go ahead and grab yourself a sandstone slab and place that in the middle, 
just there, just like that. And there you have it, that is the front face now done. And of course, we will cover the courtyard in next episode. And of course, our courtyard floor is going to be at the same level as our foundations along here. And of course, there is a small staircase going up into the Great Hall. And then the last thing we are going to do before ending of the video is just building on this connecting building right here. And so all we need to do is just add on the roof in the exact same way as before, with a very simple diagonal going all the way up, just like so. And then the same thing on this side as well, a very simple diagonal, just like that. And then all we need to do is just keep doing this on each side until we do come to the center. And so another one there, and then one more on this side as well. And so just keep doing this, alternating sides, until we do come to a center block, just like so. And those will hopefully meet at some point in the center, just like so. And of course, build a line of diagonals at the top, just to complete the roof, just like so. And that will go on, just like that. And then what we're going to do, just to finish it off, is place on a line of sanitary slabs on the top, going all the way along, just like so. And so the roof, of the Great Hall will look just like this. And my gosh, Hogwarts is looking more complete every episode. And and yeah, we don't have much left to do. We literally just have the courtyard and the balcony and the viaduct. And then it is all done, which is absolutely awesome. And so next episode, we will complete the courtyard over here and then add on the pet pop building and the balcony going all the way around the Great Hall. Check out my Patreon for the exclusive perks there. It would be amazing if we hit 20 Patreon supporters by the end of the year. And so, I'll see you guys all then.